I came to India the first time in 2002. The first three trips I made to India, I made as a tourist. So I was just looking, you know, at all the beautiful temples and palaces. But still there was something missing. I think that what really connected me to India was meeting my teacher. I have no words to thank him for his example, for his presence. His name is Shara Joyce and he's in Mysore, Karnataka. He's teaching right now with many of my friends there. So Ashtanga Yoga came and struck me like a thunderbolt because it's a very intense practice. It's, it demands a lot of dedication and sacrifice. We wake up very early, we practice six days a week. We do extremely um, sophisticated asanas and pranayama. So that starts uh, crumbling all the past issues. So Ashtanga completely shattered me. And at one point I was saying, what am I doing? What am I doing this? This is very painful. This is taking so much sacrifice away from my family, trips to India from Costa Rica. Um, at, at one point I thought I was crazy, <laughs> but my teacher always said first 10 years of practice, you know, they're not really doing anything and after the 10th year of practice something started shifting. My own perspective on life changed. So it's like I had these black glasses on and everything was negative and I was always complaining and I was bitter and I was full of uh, grief. But yoga slowly has started like uh, lifting all that pain and suffering. And my mind is not so attached to the pain. It's not that pain doesn't happen because pain always happens in life. But now my mind is able to focus on the positive and the beauty and the love. And now with 16 years of practice, I have to say that my glasses are not black anymore. Yoga has gave me the energy to raise six sons and one daughter. I also have a grandson, and even though I've had my moments of hard, uh, losing my patience and feeling very tired, yoga always brought me back. I'm not here to say that yoga is for everyone. Yoga is a spiritual path. It's not an exercise. Those of us who feel attracted to yoga is before, because we did it in a past life. I do believe in reincarnation. So if there's something that is like uh, pulling you towards yoga, follow it. And that pull is going to take you to a teacher. And hopefully it will take you to a good teacher because yoga cannot be practiced without a teacher. You need a teacher. You cannot learn yoga on the videos in YouTube. It's not about uh, a fashion or a trend because now in the West, so many people are doing yoga that is not yoga. Yoga is Born in India, yoga must be learned in India, taught by Indian teachers to Westerners. And then as Westerners, we can humbly go back to America and teach it as we have learned it here. But we are not supposed to change it or to add it or to market it or all the distortions that are happening in the West. Well, they say that, um, that you don't find yoga that yoga finds you. And when yoga finds you, it's like a rebirth.